All right, welcome back, ladies, gentlemen, and gamers, to another episode of Lorecraft. So, um, while off camera, I did a little bit of mining, and unfortunately, that clip didn't work. I was planning to show you guys the time lapse, but we have quite a bit of resources. Um, picked up a lot of, be able to use um, some texture blocks, be able to use some building blocks, and we also got some fire supplies, so that's good. And yeah, so um, I decided that we're going to work on. Um, expanding this a little bit in this episode and starting the groundworks for the next building but while I start that up um, I want to be able to talk to you guys about something that I noticed during the editing of the last video um, so sorry let me just see everything I got here I'm sure that maybe some of you guys may have noticed um, in the last video that I um, I tend to seem to cough a lot is probably how it seems um, and you wouldn't be wrong in saying that assumption but um, I think this is a good opportunity to be able to explain to you guys um, sorry I didn't mention it in the first episode but I have um, something called Tourette syndrome that is a neurological disability that affects um, basically everything to do with movement um, it seems at least so my cough is one of my ticks, so all the ticks, I'm trying to find that spider, um, my cough is one of those ticks, and what will happen is it's a neurological disability in my head that sends a signal down for my body to react, and so when that happens, um, I'll cough, or my hand will move, or I'll make 101 different strange noises, whatever it may be, and um, I mean, they're consistent. I have a good idea of what will come and what won't. And, but I thought I should let you guys know that instead of you guys wondering why, maybe 20, 30 episodes down the line, why I have this same cold of when I first started. It's not a cold, but um, yeah, so I, uh, that's what I got. Everyone has their own things. Everyone has their own struggles in life, and uh, that one's mine. Um, so if you guys... Uh, ever see anyone that's new and wonders why this kid seems to always be sick when he's recording, uh, fill him in for me, will ya? Because while I'm okay with uh, letting people know and telling people about it, what's going on, um, I do prefer to get others in on it, so that way I don't have to be the one letting everyone know, oh, this is what's wrong, and, um, you know, it can get a little frustrating to talk about it all the time, but if you guys have any questions about it, you want to know more, Leave that down in the comment section below. I'd uh, love to explain. Love to. I love to share about what that is and let people know because it, it's something most people haven't encountered. It's an interesting little conundrum, I'd guess you'd say. Not everyone in the world has it, so yeah. And also leave a comment down below if you also have Tourette's, because you know we got to stick together. Um, watch out for each other. So yeah, what we're doing here today is um an off branch here. I had um, an idea, um, since no one left a comment down below in my first episode, uh, if this should be science or magic related, we're going to do science related for this one. And with that in mind, I thought it would be really cool to have a nice, I guess you'd say, um, place to, that they'd actually chop the logs in half and such. So I'm just building the platform for that. And trying to work out where this stuff will go. I think we're going to have to move this stuff back. Um, so I'll get this, the framework of this going a little bit, and I'll see you guys in a little bit, and um, yeah, so hang tight. All right, and welcome back. There has been progress made. Still very simple. Um, I decided to add extra detail with this um, siding for the stairs, just to add a little bit of pop, a little something. And this over here is going to be used to be able to cut the longer logs. I figured that'd be good to be able to chop single logs, but what happens when it's a full tree or something that was down? So, one of the things I've seen a lot um, is basically like a little press that pushes a saw, pushes a log through a blade. So I thought it would be very um, fitting to try to implement that here. So, since stairs and other things don't connect to... Um, I mean, fences and other things don't connect to stairs. I thought it would be very fitting if we um, 
try to implement that here, you know? So, that looks a little strange. I think the way I'm going to solve that is just make each one of these lips a little thicker. I'll grab a little bit more wood and finish that off. Um, and then the next part here is, I think it would be fitting if we put a log actually sitting in here to really show what's actually going on here. And then, there's the oak wood fence. Pop that there, open that up, put a fence in. You see how that will connect to the fence, even if it isn't on the same plane as it. And when you open it, it looks like it's prying into the log here to be able to press it forward. And then I figured if we put a trap door here, this will be something to be able to either crank or push directly to be able to move it. I thought for the uh, saw right here going up and down, it would be fitting to be able to put another one here, and this could be a little crank of some sort to be able to move this and be able to send this off into probably a pit we'll have right here at some point. So, yeah, I think this is pretty good. I'm going to light this up and start moving on. We're going to build the first settler village. All right, guys. So, um, to be able to start this off here, I think that the best move we can do is lay out a foundation, which I've done here. I'll count this out for you guys. It is nine in this direction, five, five, and then over there, through here is uh, seven wide, okay? I think I'll pop another log right here just so I get my bearings better. And so, obviously here we're going with odds, so I think I'm going to go evens actually for height. You know, height and width length, the height doesn't need to match the even odd rule, so... I'm not careful, I'm gonna actually die here. <laughs> I uh, still do not have a steady food supply yet, that's something I normally don't get on all too quick actually. I need to get better at that. So, I think with the shape of this um, building, we're going to have in this back area right here, I think I went one too high here, yes I did, um, in this back area where we're at right now, we're going to have the bedroom I believe. Um, just a small little bedroom, um, a small kitchen area, and an entrance area and a lounge area kind of with this house because if this is an actual house, um, they had stuff in their houses and it wasn't just a storage room. So I'd like to get this um, going. This is just a simple person's house. This is no one special in this um, town. It is just a regular Joe Schmo, most likely the person that came first and settled the village. So, I would like to get a look at this before we keep going. I think that's a good height right there. And as we did with the log, um, the wood shop, I guess you'd say, the processing plant, if it was fancier, um, we're going to create these support beams going out. And with this one, I'm thinking of a um, sort of flatter style roof, not as high of an arch. Actually, not even close to as high of an arch. So. I'm thinking with this to be able to just make something quite flat and continue on from there. So I honestly thought I had more wood. I'm sorry guys, I will be right back and ready to go. Derp. Sorry for the derp fest guys, I honestly thought I had about another stack of wood there. But so we have the basic frame up and I decided that with this style I'm going to add juts going out along the uh, corners here. Just add a little bit of realism as if the log here is going straight through and same with the other side and I really believe this will add a little bit of realism and also um, provide a little bit of structure for when we put on the roof so with all that taken care of I think we just need to add in the basic walls so I'm going to do this mostly out of oak um, as we did with the wood shop but this is going to have um, birch accents um, in a different variety and I just want to say, I almost never center my doors, just to add a little bit of, I guess you'd say, and a little bit of an interest factor there. So, yeah, I'm just going to fill these in all really quick, and I'll be right back with you again really soon. And welcome back, guys. So, I'm sorry this episode's been a little bit more progress update than um, I would like to, but... Um, I think this is coming along well. We got a couple basic windows in, nothing special yet. Didn't want to do too much detail without you guys. But I thought before we go on to the roof, I wanted to get into the interior. Mainly the kitchen is the big thing. Because I want to plan for a chimney to come up, like a little smokestack, from the uh, oven range here. And I didn't want to just, I guess you'd say, leave that and not really do too much with it, I guess you'd say. 
So we're gonna need a few chests in here, I believe. So, um, yeah, I'd love if you guys could. Uh, I think it's time to like bait. You know, it's been a little bit. Um, if you guys could go down and leave it below down in the comments um, if you like it or not, and uh, hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know what can be better, what can be improved on. Um, something I really thought would be really nice here. Let's pop in a fridge, you know. So I think I got it. Let's see if I'm able to get this right. There we go. I think that's a pretty good fridge. I think I'm gonna add another chest in here though. Um, I want to see how that looks when I'm walking in. So. Hello to you too. Um, okay, okay. That's not too bad. Wooden pressure plate right there for a little countertop, I think. Another one right here would be very fitting. I wonder, can you? No, I didn't think you could. Oh, I was so confused. I didn't know what I did there. Alright, that's better. And we'll just pretend that that's part of the countertop. Um, so there's oven range, ice box in here, a little place for storage. I think that's pretty good for the kitchen. Um, one thing I did want to add though, and I think this is a really cool trick that I don't know if everyone actually knows about. I think if you're going to be building anything that involves a kitchen, this should be something you put in. You don't have to, but just right there. A little washcloth, little detail. I think that adds so much. It's a little bit of movement, so it um, draws the eye in a little bit. So when you're looking here, you're drawn to that right there every time. It's just this sticks out so much more and draws attention to it. So I think that's really a good piece of detail. Um, for the front here, I think orange. Well, I thought these were orange. Sorry. Uh, some red. Um, I wonder if there's any, there's the lines over there. I think orange on the ground will look good. I'm starting to think more and more that this city's main color will be the color orange, simply because I think it's very interesting that we spawn right next to, walking away and turning around, spawn right next to like a lava pit here. Um, so yeah, I think that'd be a lot of fun if we we're able to have this be orange in memory of that, because that will be all used up at some point. Um, so, just get this going really quick. I forgot you can't die multiple of these at a time, so. Have a little just area rug here in the front. Just pop, pop, pop. A little spot for you to clean your feet. I think I want this one more forward. Oh. <laughs> so how's that feel? That feels good. Wipe your feet. Come on in. Cook yourself up some meal. Go to bed. Yeah, got your storage little nightstand right there. I think all that's left, I think we just need to add in the roof here. So, um, to be able to do this, I'm just going to fill in all these little nooks and crannies. I just thought. Okay, I was wondering if that would turn on, open the uh, ice box there. Fill all this in right here, and while I do that, I was wondering, um, <clears throat> it's going to be a little bit before I start in the next village or anything like that, but I was wondering, what would you guys think would be um, good for a, like, sorry, loss of words, um, what would be good for being able to do with the next village and the relationships? Do you think that, as in what this village feels toward other villages and things of that nature? Should this be a kind-hearted, loving village? Should this be very peaceful? Or should it be a little offset and kind of reserved? Should it be actively hostile? I want to know what you guys think and see if we're able to incorporate those ideas into this. Because while I am the one here building, this is going to be our world. And this is going to be something we can all enjoy. I do plan on every once in a while at Milestones, maybe every 25 episodes, to put up a world download. And I think it would be a lot of fun for all of us to be able to enjoy these kind of... Um, things. I want you guys to have an input in what you guys could enjoy. So please leave below down in the comment field what you guys think would be nice to be added. And um, I'm just going to pop on to up top and we're going to start on this roof now. So let's
by the way, uh, never, ever, ever, you know, do what I just did and use a block that you use in your scaffolding because later on you're going to possibly forget that that is scaffolding and it's not something you're trying to work into the build and you end up adding it in and you try to figure out what looks weird and you find out way later um, at like 2 a.m. when you wake up shaking because you realized how much of a mistake you made. Um, barely exaggerated. Uh, <laughs> so, but yeah, that's that's just a quick little tip. I actually heard that from another YouTuber um, who is, I'm sure you guys know, his name is Mumbo Jumbo. Um, I want to be able to say while doing this series, I hope, and I hope it's okay, um, I would like to be able to say during this series of who has inspired me, who has taught me where I've learned all the things I know from, and um, that little tip comes from Mumbo Jumbo. Uh, he's actually one of the first uh, people I ever started watching on YouTube, so... Um, if Mumbo, if you are ever, ever watching this, please leave a comment down below. Um, so, I think this roof here, this is going to just be for the downstairs, what the downstairs will see. This is only going to be one floor, sorry, what, well, the ceiling down there, I want it to be slightly raised over the log, um, and make it seem like the log is holding this up, but for the roof up top, I think we're going to go... As I said before, it's going to be a very shallow roof, but uh, there we are. Very shallow roof style, and um, but just quite how I'm going to do that. I believe I'm going to have a slight overhang on the logs on the side and just have it curve up on top. So I'll finish this up and show you what I'm talking about, and we'll wrap up the episode from there, I believe. Okay, see you guys. All right, guys, and that is the house. Okay, so all we have left is a little bit of detailing on the walls. Boop, boop, boop. And then this will be all finished up. So I'm thinking here that it'd be nice if we were able to get some birch going in here. Do I have birch with me? I have a little bit of stairs and some fences. I want more fences. I want more fences. So <clears throat> I think the best way to do this is simply similar to how we handled the other house but I want to have this challenge right here where this is how many um, stairs I have this is how many stairs I get so I think that's good yeah I think this right here this will need some kind of detail I think this right here will work just fine just add a kind of like structure to the post here which means though for if they did this, they would have been consistent with it. So that means I have to do it all the way around. So, I think that this right here will look just fine. And on these sections right here, we'll add those. How do you think that looks, guys? Let me know. Let me know. Somebody, you're wrong. Somebody, you're right. Let me know down in the comments. Hashtags. Let me know if these look good or not. Um, oh, I just remember we do have one other thing that we do need to do, and uh, that is get more, <laughs> get a little bit more oak wood, but also we need to come up with a roof design. Now I'm thinking with that it will be simply made out of cobblestone, some cobblestone slabs, stairs, and um, cobblestone pillars. Um, and we'll just take that and shape it to be able to try to make a small chimney. This won't be any grand, massive, bigger than the house chimney. Um, and I think with that, that will be mostly done, and I think we'll just wrap it up with a little bit of a path work going from place to place, you know? So. Oh, one more thing down in the comments. Yes, I'm asking you guys to write a full essay pretty much down in the comments today. When you guys go from one world where you are a late game, you have the elytra, you've beaten the ender, dragon you have everything all hooked up you have shulker boxes galore you're all ready to go how hard is it for you guys to not fly when you go on to a new server i'm really curious how you guys handle that because for me it is the most difficult thing there is in minecraft there's nothing worse so uh, let me down know down in the comments what you guys think of when it comes to those moments because for me it is the most difficult and painful thing 
to have to actually walk. It just shows that when we get used to something and we like it, we don't want it to change, right? So, by the way, I am so excited for when I can actually find a saddle for these horses. I think that looks good. I think that's good. How many? Is this an odd here? That's it's three in between. Let go well there. I think we need something special there. I think just glass, actually. Glass will work. Not normal fence post routine. That's okay. I think now we're going to move on to the chimney. I think we're going to actually replace a little bit of this corner over here. Oy vey. Um, whenever you guys build, make sure you put your chest as far away as possible. Because um, cardio is important, as we all know. If your hunger bar is full, you'll have more problems down the road. Um, it can lead to some very serious illnesses like fatigue, hunger, you know. So I think it's very important to just put your stuff as far away from where you're working just to make sure you get that little bit of extra cardio in while you're building. Because, I mean, without it, where are you going to be in a few years? I mean, you need to take care of yourself. So, you know, hashtag real talk here. Um, so... I think with this, we're just going to need some, a few stairs. I honestly think that'll be plenty. I always have a hard time remembering cobblestone pillars. Okay, there we are. And a few slabs. That'll be plenty, I think. Because this isn't any old end. Um, chimney here, so. I'm trying to think of where we have those placed. Because we have the post there, furnaces are on the other side of this. <clears throat> Let's take these actually back one more. <clears throat> and we'll pop these up. Tear down this little section right here. You saw nothing. Capiche? So, <clears throat> nothing here. Da 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 da. Ah, oh, okay. Let's see. There we go. That's how stuff works in Minecraft. It's a it's a new game, you know. No one really knows how this works yet. It's very complicated. Uh, you just you just don't get it, you know. And so, right here, <laughs> I think the right way to do this would be, I kind of changed my idea from what I had planned when I was down below. I think this would be best. That threw me for a loop there for a second. Still throwing me for a loop. This is the co most complicated thing I've done all day. You can't do this, right? I can figure this out. I'm an adult. I can do it. I'm sure I can do it. They all have to be at the... Right? There it is. Okay. And then... How do these look? Something's telling me to try to remember never use the block you're using for scaffolding as scaffolding. Yeah, never want to do that. I think that works. Let's see it from the ground level. That's okay, and we'll just wrap this back around. Oh, I didn't think of that. I actually kind of like the way that looks up from an angle. So I think that's okay. I think that works. I really do. Let me know if I'm wrong. Because <laughs> but I really do like the way that looks. I want to see how it is from the inside. Make sure I cleared out the right squares and everything. Right, blocks, sorry. Sorry, they're not squares, they're blocks. I think that looks good. Um... 
It's a little too flat though for my taste, I think, in here. <sighs> That's it. That's it. Yeah, I think that'll work. Ooh, I just thought. We're cooking. We should be crafting. There we go. I like the way that looks. Let me know if you like the way that looks or not. And now that we have that all settled, I think it's time we go and start working on a path between these two. Now, this is going to be more on the outskirts of town. I think I'm going to have a bulk of the town be right in this area. So this is kind of like a path on the outside. So it's going to dip in, I think, a little bit would be a good idea for this one. So I'm excited to have an automatic storage system on this uh, world. If you guys have any really good automatic storage systems, let me know down in the comments below. Send me uh, one. I'd love to be able to try to build one. Um, that's new, not a traditional one that I normally make, because I have a few that I normally do, but to be able to try a new one I think would be enjoyable and a good challenge for me. So, got cobblestone, gravel, dirt, coarse dirt, path blocks, there's grass already down. <sighs> I don't actually have, I have a few bones for bone meal. Uh, da -da -da -da. I think this will look okay. I'm very excited. I'm not going to update to the new snapshot just because um, I tend to have difficulty with snapshots and making them work. So, oi, oi, there we go. So, but I'm very excited for it because I really would like to be able to mess with that uh, new concrete powder. That is it for me. I know most most people that's the thing they're excited for. You never hear hype for terracotta blocks, but I'm right there with everyone. I am so excited for that, so. All right, and. I think this will be okay. Just dipping in a little bit. going off to a little diving board toward the lava, you know. So, I'm going to finish doing this off camera, guys, and we'll have a little intro, and uh, I'll see you guys quite soon. Alright, guys, and welcome back. Here's the path here. I figured with how this would make sense, if that's just a house over there, and here's the actual main place of business and work here, this place would be a little bit more trotted down. So, I have a lot more path blocks over here and over here, just made a little bit more dirt, a little bit more mud going up um, until the door. I have a lot of path blocks by the door because it's the place of uh, entrance, you know. So, um, this has been a great episode, guys. I really appreciate uh, you guys checking it out. Uh, share, like, and comment down below anything that you would like to share. And I appreciate it. I'll see you guys again really soon. And remember, no one likes diorite. No one ever will like diorite. And if you do like diorite, well, I hope you enjoy my channel and the burning of diorite. See you guys again really soon. Goodbye. Oh. Oh, hey guys. Um, P.S. I died by cutting a tree.